The best shows on Netflix. The Lincoln Lawyer The Lincoln Lawyer is everything a great legal drama should be, suspenseful, gripping, and unpredictable. Anchored by Manuel Garcia Rolfo's terrific performance as Mickey Holler, a skeptical but optimistic criminal defense attorney and a recovering addict who runs his practice from his car, The Lincoln Lawyer is a powerful adaptation of Michael Connolly's novel of the same name. Other standouts include Neve Campbell as Maggie McPherson, Halley's first wife and prosecutor of. If you're looking for a stylish and sophisticated series, The Lincoln Lawyer is sure to deliver. Physical 100 Developed by Jang Hojiai, Physical 100 is an immersive reality series that follows 100 fully fit contestants as they compete in grueling challenges that push their limits in hopes of winning prize money. Featuring more extreme obstacle courses than American Ninja Warrior and activities to rival the Titan Games and Special Forces Physical 100, the South Korean series really puts these athletes to the test. Physical 100 welcomes a variety of participants from all backgrounds, including special operations soldiers, national team gymnasts and wrestlers, and aims to find the strongest physique regardless of gender, experience, or training. Kunk on Earth Kunk on Earth is a mockumentary series that follows Philomena Kunk, Diane Morgan, as she comically explores the history of the world's greatest inventions. Featuring interviews with experts in their fields, Kunk on Earth poses powerful questions that chronicle historical moments in human progress from prehistory to the present. Part investigative journalism, part travel show, Kunk on Earth stems from Charlie Brooker, who invented the hilariously misinformed reporter. Kunk on Earth is a delightfully funny series from that has a similar tone to Ali G or Who is America? by Sasha Baron Cohen. New Amsterdam Medical drama New Amsterdam found its groove and built an audience by drawing on the interpersonal relationships of on-screen doctors. Creator David Schulner adapted the series from Eric Mannheimer's book Twelve Patients, Life and Death at Bellevue Hospital and shamelessly used the fictional series to expose real failings in America's healthcare system. The show stars Ryan A. Gold, The Blacklist, as the new medical director whose forever agenda calls for him and his staff to break the rules and uproot the medical system to heal patients at one of the country's oldest public hospitals. Throughout its five seasons, New Amsterdam exposes viewers to entertaining medical mysteries, romance, and hope. Freeridge Based on the popular series on my block, Freeridge sees a new group of four teenagers in town working together to reverse a curse and end the tragedy they believe has begun to seep into their lives. Starring Kayla Monterozo Mejia, Brianna Salas, Tenzing Norgay Trainer, and Sierra Riley Wilson, Freeridge ties straight into the original series, building a delicious foundation for this universe and even featuring adorable guest appearances by characters and their twins. Season 1 of Free Ridge deftly expands on the canon, explaining previously unexplored mysteries while opening up some new questions of its own. Women at War Women at War is a new perspective on the war dramas of Cecile Lorne. Praised for a non-exploitative approach, Women at War explores tales of war brothels, makeshift hospitals, and scandals in addition to the expected historical drama and romance with multi-layered characters. These characters include Agnes, Julie de Bona, a nun from a confiscated convent, a mysterious sex worker from Paris named Marguerite, Audrey Fleurot, Nurse Suzanne, Camille Lou, and Caroline, Sophia Essady, who runs his family's factory. Dive into a traditionally male-dominated genre, Women at War creatively follows the lives of these very different women in 1914 France in eight gripping episodes. Fate the Wink Saga Based on the popular animated series Winx Club, Fate, the Wink Saga takes a darker, more mature approach to the franchise. 
The story revolves around Bloom, Abigail Cowan, a fiery fairy who enrolls in a magical boarding school. There, she befriends other magical beings and learns more about her past and must work with them to defeat an ancient enemy that threatens the other world. Fate, the Wink Saga offers a compelling escape into a magical world and is a solid addition to the teen fantasy genre. Warrior Nun Based on the character from Ben Dunn's comic book, Warrior Nun follows a young woman named Ava, Alba Baptista, who wakes up one day with a halo on her back. Stranger still, the halo grants her special abilities and the ability to walk, for the first time since she was paralyzed ten years ago. With these new powers, Ava finds herself drawn into a group of badass nuns fighting evil. Combining mythology and theology with seriously impressive action, Warrior Nun is sure to delight fans of Buffy the Vampire Slayer and the like. Squid Game Squid Game is one of the biggest cultural phenomena we've seen in recent years and broke all records when it launched in fall 2021. The South Korean series revolves around a group of 456 people who risk their lives playing children's games to win a large sum of money. The capture? Games have a deadly twist, and only one winner will come out alive. The popularity and critical acclaim of Squid Game is well-deserved. Not only is it packed with intelligent, daring writing and excellent performances, but the social commentary it offers on class and society is insightful and relevant. The Queen's Gambit You don't have to be interested in chess to fall in love with the seven-episode limited series The Queen's Gambit because, at its core, the show isn't really about chess. It's a deeply dramatic story about a young orphan who works through her trauma to find some semblance of joy wherever she can and the people she meets along the way. Anya Taylor-Joy, the witch, is revealed in the title role of Beth Harmon, a young chess prodigy, instilling great confidence in the character while also nailing the nuances of her emotional complexity. Scott Frank, who writes and directs each episode, brings the 1950s and 1960s to life with stunning production design and gorgeous costumes, but it's the way he captures the chess games that really make this story so exciting and compelling, not because of the specific moves, but because the show does a great job of so involving you in Beth's story, and with seven episodes and a full finale. Needn't worry about this show being cancelled, it's a complete story from start to finish.